Hello Taurus, <laughs> welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading guys, it is timestamp. Okay, so this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. So um, this is your general, your general love reading for August. I'm going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. I'll clarify off um, camera as well, guys. So just let me take these in, and I'll be back. So, uh, Cat Taurus, <laughs> I forgot to put a sec. Let's start your reading, and of course, uh, take whatever side resonates with you guys, and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here but you can always switch or flip whatever side just kind of resonates the most all right and of course feel free to check out your other readings which should be pinned in the corner um as i speak all right so you're showing up as a six it seems like you're kind of both trying to move out of a situation or something that happened that went down i'm not sure what that is with the six of blades there kind of shows you moving away from some form of I'm not sure whether it's money that this person may be of lost or a lie that was told or something happened which you both are just trying to move away from it. It kind of made this person come up short in some way, which is why I feel like for, for a lot of you that could be finances. Maybe they gambled or something happened, but you're trying to kind of move away from that, move out of that. Your focus is just kind of trying to move forward. Uh, away from that but at the same time what's going on inside for you mentally you realize that there's some form of choice that you need to make um about about this about this don't think you're sharing it with this person but it's about it's, a, it's more about the stability um is this person able to have the type of mature relationship that you are wanting to have or what you're expecting to have i feel like there's some maybe recognition of that not being there or something having been lost something that you might have thought was there that now you realize due to whatever's happened that is is, is not there so there is this sense of kind of waiting waiting for something waiting for something there's an element of kind of uh, waiting um feeling like things are slowly turning around though um and I feel like that's more due to you coming out of whatever happened. Um, or maybe that just kind of is you wanting things to turn around. But yeah, I feel like this is more about, you know, you just kind of both coming out of whatever happened, the situation. You're on the outskirts of it now. Slowly coming, you're coming out of it. Um, yeah, this person sees you as someone that they have been with for a while with the six of uh, cups there. Someone that has, we've got the karma card there. I feel like you've given them, you've been patient uh, with them. Sorry, that was like that. Um, realizing that you're willing to take a risk on them. Realizing that this is their, you know, karma. Um, yeah, there's a recognition of, you, of rec recognition of you being patient with them. Um, and, and things moving or at least them wanting to go down a new path. I feel like this person is, you know, definitely taken on board what has happened because something happened. <laughs> I'm not sure what, what, what that kind of really is. Came to your awareness, something that, something that maybe you have experience in. It's, it, we've got the higher thing card there, which talks about knowledge, higher knowledge, it, due to uh, studying or experience or uh, maybe word of mouth. Um, yeah, I feel like this is more about experience. Maybe this person is a bit younger than you. Maybe they lack experience in some way, shape or form, which you have a lot of experience with, which is why you're able to kind of be a bit more patient with this person or have been a bit more patient with this person, still wanting to, you know, advance this. Uh, give to this 
Um, but realizing that you need to tread care, not even it's not even so much tread carefully, think about how you're going to handle this. I feel like it's due to maybe their maturity levels or lack of experience in some way, shape or form. But that doesn't really matter simply because we've got the magician card there. You still have this belief that, um, you yeah, know, you could make, this could work out. There's a, a level of belief uh, that this can work out. An opportunity to create something new. There was just this pull for you to continue with this person. And this person's focus was on, you know, moving ahead as well. Moving away from whatever happened. I'm not sure what happened, like I said. But whatever happened, you know, wanting to move away from whatever that was. Whatever mistake that was. And focus on, you know, the intention is to build something. Establish something, let's say that. There is this passion and desire to do that. And ah, and we do have that awareness, the world card. The world card talks about, when we're looking at the world card, the world card is the last card of the deck. So it's, you know, the, the tarot card is a fool's journey. And you go through the journey and the last tarot card is the, the world card. So once you get to the end, you see things different, you know more. You see, uh, you have a different perspective on things. So this person has definitely gained a different perspective on things due to whatever happened. Not to say that it's comfortable for them to acknowledge that with the shadow side there. Uh, at the same time, trying to process it, but it's not comfortable for them to acknowledge that they might have a problem with gambling or they might have, you know, something like that. Yeah. Like I said, you know, you're just focusing on really kind of moving away from this. There is going to be, we do have the Knight of Cups there in their spread which is a very slow, slow moving card. Knight of Cups is just hesitancy, slow moving. Um, and we've got it twice there as well. And then we do have the Three of, Three of Pentacles, which talks about collaboration, teamwork, uh, relationship, partnership. So this is really going to, but I love that. We do have the Five of Swords, which talks about trying to get on top of something, coming out on top in some way so there is movement there in terms of this person maybe growing emotionally um when it comes to whatever happened not making the same mistakes again but it's a slow process it's, it's going to take its time you know just like any other learning curve uh, any other growth um evolution evolution for some of you i mean it takes time, doesn't it? So that's what's what's ultimately going to happen here, which is why I feel, just going back to you, um, Taurus, which is why I feel we have that three of, of swords, sorry, the three of wands there, that waiting, waiting to see a change, waiting to see whether this person, you know, there's progress in some way, shape or form. But we do have the Ace of Cups just before we move into the extended. In their spread, we do have the Ace of Cups, which talks about the Ace of Cups is a is a love a love card, an offering of love or the feeling of love there, um, with the Empress card there. So let's move into the extended version. Let's kind of get a full picture and see what's going on here. See where this moves to. What happens next? Uh, link is in the description bar below, guys, and I shall see you guys in a bit.